Hi everyone, Hi, it's Bye. Helena and Bye. me and her mom. And uh, we're back with a book today and it's gonna be hard to read. The main reason though why we are going to tackle this because it's seen to Dr. Seuss's birthday. Yes, Dr. Seuss's birthday is March 2nd, and that is day after tomorrow, because tomorrow is March 1st, so we are going to record this. Without further ado, because it is kind of lengthy, and it's I don't... Tongue, <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Oh, say, can you say? Oh, my brothers, oh, my sisters, these are... Terrible tongue twisters. Yeah. Said a bu book reading parrot named Hooey. The words in this book are all fooey. When you say them, your lips will make slips and backflips, and your tongue may end up in St. Louis. Do you like fresh fish? It's just fine at Finey's diner. Finey also has some fresh fish that's fresher and much finer, but his best fish is freshest fish, and Finey says with pride, the finest fish at Finey's is my freshest fish, French fried. So don't order the fresh or the fresher fish at Finey's. If you're wise, you'll say, fetch me the finest French fried freshest fish that Finey's fries. Woo! Carrying on. We have a dinosaur named Den. Den's thin. Den doesn't have much skin. And the bones fall out of his left front shin. Then we have to call in Pinner Blen, who comes with his handy shin pen bin. And with a thin blend shin bone pen, Blen pens Den's shin bones right back in. <laughs> Bed spreaders spread spread on beds. Bed spreaders spread butter on breads. And that bed spreader better watch how he's spreading or the bread spreader sure going to butter his bedding. I might have just jacked that up. As he gobbled the cakes on his plate, the greedy ape said as he ate, the greener green grapes are, the keener keen apes are, to gobble green grapes cakes. They're great. Are you having trouble in saying this stuff? It's really quite easy for me. I just look in the mirror and see what I say, and then I just say what I see. <coughs> Bunny, we have to keep going. Now let's talk about money. You shouldn't leave your grow home when you travel by air. If you take him along, they'll charge double the fare and your grow must be packed and locked up in a grox box. Oh, I said it a French way. It's supposed to be grox. Grox box, which costs much more than a little old fox box. So it's heaps a lot cheaper to fly with your foxes than waste all that money on boxes for groxes. And what do you think costs more, a simple thimble or a single shingle? A simple thimble could cost less than a single shingle would, I guess. So I think that the single shingle should cost more than the simple thimble would. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay. If you like to eat potato chips and chew pork chops on clipper ships, I suggest that you chew a few chips and a chop at Skipper Zip's clipper sh ship chip Chop shop. And if your tongue is getting queasy, don't give up. The next one's easy. We'll see. There are so many things that you really should know. And that's why I'm bothering telling you so. You should know the first names of the Fudnuddler brothers who like to pile each other on heads of the others. If you start at the top, there are Blipper and Bud, and Skipper and Jipper, and Jeffrey and Judd, Horatio, Horace, Hendrix, and Hud, and then comes Den Woody and Denty and Dud, also Fitzzimmon and Frederick and Fudd, and Slinky and Stinky and Stuart and Stud, and down at the bottom is poor little Lud, but if Lud ever sneezes, his name will be Mud. Mud? 
Yeah, that means like your your name is ruined. Your reputation is ruined. Quack, quack. We have two ducks, one blue, one black. And when our blue duck goes quack, quack, our black duck quickly quack, quacks back. The quack blue quack make her quite a quacker, but black is a quicker quacker backer. And speaking of quacks, reminds me of cracks and stacks and sacks and shacks and snacks. So I would say, can you say I have cracks in my shack? I have smoke in my stack and I think there's a snack <laughs> in the sack on my back. It is some kind of animal, because Dr. Seuss made up a lot of different kinds of animals. Oh, it's called a snack. <coughs> upon an island hard to reach, the east beast sits upon his beach. Upon the west beach sits the west beast. Each, <laughs> each beast. He thinks he's the best beast. Which beast is best? Well, I thought at first that the east was best and the west was worse. Then I looked again from the west to the east and I liked the beast on the east beach least. Right on. <coughs> Pete Briggs, Pat's pigs. Briggs, Pat's pink pigs. Briggs, Pat's big pigs. Don't ask me why. It doesn't matter. Pete Briggs is a pink pig, big pig powder. Pete Briggs pats his pig, big pink pigs all day. Don't ask me why. I cannot say. Then Pete puts his padded pigs away and his Pete Briggs, pink pigs, big pigs, pig pen. Pig pen. Fritz needs Fred and Fred needs Fritz. Fritz feeds Fred and Fred feeds Fritz. Fred feeds Fritz with Ritzy Fred food. Fritz feeds Fred with Ritzy Fritz food. And Fritz, when fed, has often said, I'm a Fred fed Fritzer. Fred's a Fritz fed Fred. <laughs> I'm screwed. Oh my gosh. Okay. How to tell clots from a glots? Well, the glots you will notice has lots of black spots. The clots is quite different with lots of black dots. But the big problem is that the spots on the glots are about the same size as the dots on a clots. So you first have to spot who the one with the dots is. Then it's easy to tell who the clots or the glots is. Okay. Both of them spots. Yeah, but one of them is a clots and the other one is a clots. Yeah, you'd have what's, to go to bed about an hour earlier for us to do that, sweetheart. Would you rather be up when you grow up? What would you rather be when you grow up? A cop in a cop's cap or a cupcake cook and a cupcake cook's cap or a fat flapjack flapper and a flat flapped jack cap. Or if you don't like cop's caps, flapjack flappers or cupcake cook caps. Maybe you're one of those choosy chaps who likes kooky captain's caps, perhaps. <laughs> oh, gosh. More about Blynn. Well, when Blynn comes home tired from his work pinning shins, the happiest hour of old Blynn's day begins. Mr. Blynn is the father of musical twins who, tucking twin instruments under twin chins, lull their daddy to sleep with twin Blynn violins and... Or say, can you say, far away in Berlin, a musical urchin named Gretchen von Schwinn has a blue-footed, true-footed, trigger-fingered, slick-fingered, six-fingered, six-stringed, ten Schwinn mandolin. What's mandolin? It's an instrument right there. Why does it have six strings in hands? To play itself. Because this is Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. If you hope to wash your soup off a rope, Simply scrub it with scrope. Scrope is so strong that no rope is too long, but if you should wish to wash soup off of a hoop, I suggest that it's best to let your whole silly souped up hoop soak in a Soapy Cooper's Super Soup Off Hoop Soak Suds. That looks like popcorn. 
Mm-hmm. Merry Chris Mush. One year we had a Christmas brunch with Merry Chris Mush to Munch, but I don't think you'd care for such. We didn't like to munch mush much. You can't even munch mush because it doesn't munch. But anyway. I wouldn't like that. <coughs> no. And speaking of Christmas, here are some great gifts to give your daddy. If your daddy's name is Jim, and if Jim swims, and if Jim's slim, the perfect Christmas gift for him is a set of Slim Jim swim fins. But if your daddy's name is Dwight, and he likes to look at birds at night, the gift for Dwight that might be right is a bright Dwight bird flight night sight light. And by the way, my dad's name is Jim, so I will go back to this around Christmas time. Which one? Oh my goodness, this one. A set of Slim Jim Swim Fins. I don't think that's real. No, I don't think so either. You can get Oh my gosh, am I really almost done? Okay. <laughs> but never give your daddy a walrus. A walrus with whiskers is not a good pet. And a walrus which whispers is the worst even yet. And I screwed that up. Let me start over. A walrus with whiskers is not a good pet, and a walrus which whispers is worse even yet. When a walrus lisps whispers through tough, rough, wet whiskers, your poor daddy's ear will get blisters and bliskers. And that's almost enough of such stuff for one day. One more and you're finished. Oh, say can you say? What does oh say can you say? It, it's this book. Wait up. <laughs> The storm starts when the drop starts dropping. When the drops stop dropping, then the storm starts stopping. I love that one. Let's say it again. The storm starts when the drops start dropping. When the drops stop dropping, then the storm starts stopping. Do you get it? Yeah. The drops start dropping, that's the beginning of the storm. When the drops stop dropping, that's the start of the rain stopping. This was fun to read, and I bumbled it up quite a bit. But anyway, it doesn't matter because happy birthday, Dr. Seuss. Good night, Helena. Have a good night. Bye.